Welcome back to the channel. Today I have another really short video. This one uh, is about the song Lateralis by Tool. And I did another visualization. My last video was a visualization of the time signature changes uh, by Barr of the song Schism from the album Lateralis. And today I'm doing the title track Lateralis, track nine from that album. And first I'm showing the, uh, the, the sheet music here with all the bars and the changes. And you can see the time signatures and the bar identification here. This is from the user Arendam Raj Narala on the site MuseScore. So check that out if you want to see the sheet music. And what I've done with this is to gather the bar information, the ID for each bar, along with the time signature of that particular section. And you can see if you mouse over on this site, you can find all the different bars. What I was able to do was create a visualization. So on my site, I'm posting this. Uh, so you can check it out directly, but there's a little bit of descriptive information. And then I list the source for this file, the data and everything. So you can check it out. The user on MuseScore noted two sections of polyrhythms where uh, Danny Carey, the drummer, plays a 6-8 uh, rhythm. Uh, but on top of that plays a section of 5-8 and then a different section of 4-8. So those are also noted in this visualization. So let's take a look. Uh, down here below, we can see uh, all of the blue dots are different from the section before. So those all indicate a different time signature from the preceding time signature. All of the black dots are consistent time signatures. And then in addition, the orange dots here, the kind of a red-orange color, indicate the polyrhythmic sections. So as you can see, there are quite a few changes that happen in three major sections of this song. And then we can see the sections of polyrhythms occur over a fairly consistent 6-8 uh, pattern. That's the visualization for this one. It's interesting. I just did this not as like a, a real data visualization with everything, but more of a artistic look at things. And if you haven't seen it before, check out my video on the song Schism. Let's now take a look at the behind the scenes code for this. So like many of my videos before, I'm using the RStudio IDE and I'm inside of a Quarto markdown document. And we have some headers over here and then the descriptive text with some links. Uh, as far as the interesting part, the visualization, for this one, I used a library called Read Excel, which allows me to specify the sheet from an Excel file. Previously, I just needed a CSV file, but in this particular format, I started adding another sheet to my document to save the information for this particular song. So now I'm using a different library to pull that information out of an Excel file. Below, I read in the data, and then I define a different color for the polyrhythm sections. And then below that, I'm using, again, ggplot2 to render this particular plot. One thing of note, I do not define the y values inside of the aesthetics for the main call here, but I instead move those down to the uh, geom point calls. And the first geom point call, I'm pulling out the uh, 16s values, and then for the second one, I add in the polyrhythms. And so if you'd like to explore that on your own, I'm providing the files for this Quarto Markdown as well as the data file. So you can check it out yourself and try it and uh, play along at home if you go visit my GitHub and pull these down. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments if you think of anything else, if you know of any other data sources that might be interesting like this. Take care. Have a great week.